Hey ladies and jellyfish and Elizabeth Slashes, welcome to my new TV vlog series, Wally. -E. Let's get started. So, I just watched Wally, -E, which is embarrassing because it came out in 2008. But I really like this movie, guys. And I watch a lot of movies. And to be honest, this is one of my top three movies right now. Behind probably Castaway, a Tom Hanks movie in 2000. Um, and probably this is my number two. Yeah, I don't think there's really a number two. Unless maybe some Spider-Man movies or Civil War or other movies like those. But anyway, let's get started with this. So this is my first TV vlog. It's still going to be in my vlog series. But, um, since I don't really show my face in my vlogs, I thought I should do TV vlog, which means I vlog on things I watch. So, yeah. This is a low animation video. I'm not really doing any editing in this, but let's just jump in. So, Wally -E is a very interesting movie. Um, it focuses on a future Earth where only garbage is left and how humans have gone to space because... It was this guy who sent a video who said you should go to space in the future. And they've been in space for 700 years. Anyway, back in Earth, Wally, a normal camera and robot who's friends with a cockroach, they just live in along. Uh, they gather some cool artifacts for themselves and make garbage piles. And then uh, Eve comes. Eve is that white, whitish. Um character so she comes in and she just you know uh since she's new obviously she she destroys everything she sees this moving so wally's scared of her and then when wally goes up to her they become friends um and then wally gives her like all he found and then when he showed her the plant because he found a plant outside which is very rare because Earth is now a, like a, how should I say, like a more of a suburban, like, waste. So, um, Eva was apparently on a chase for that. And before she can say goodbye, she turns off and there's this light that flashes on her board. So, yeah, uh, she doesn't move for a long time. And Wally just subjects himself to the linear labor. And then, um, yeah, and then the spaceship comes. A spaceship comes to pick up Eve, and Wally goes with them because he has a crush on Eve. And then when they go to space, now this is one of my favorite parts. Wally, I, th I think the more important and more memorable part of this movie was, like, on Earth. But the part I really liked was the animation of the people. So they go to space. There's a spaceship where every human on Earth is there, and they've been living up there for 700 years. They have babies. They have this chair that does everything for them. They wake up. They do work. And since no one has done anything for 700 years, they're all fat. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really cool to see because I always dreamt of, having, of living in space because I'm a really good space whiz. And I always liked how you could have, like, I don't know, like a chair or like a bed or a house that does everything for you you don't even have to walk so you can watch tv you can call people you can sit down you can sleep you can wash your hands you can wash your face you can relax and that's not even the main plot but i still like it so next up we have uh wally looking for eve they go through a lot of things that they have to go through and then uh they meet the captain of the ship Mr. McCree. And uh, by the way, guys, I looked this up. They, they, Pixar officially said that they're not making a second Wally movie, which is sad. Even though they're making like four Toy Story movies, they're making not even two Wally movies. That's very sad. But anyway, they go to the captain. The captain is all fat too. Um, and then when he sees the plant, he, uh, he watches this video that says they have to go back to Earth when they find that plant. So there's this bad robot, um, like the steering wheel of the ship. He's like a bad person. He's like an auto. His name's Autotube. And then um, he takes the plant and he hides it somewhere so that they can't go back to Earth. Because he's a robot, obviously. He doesn't want to go back to Earth. 
to be honest, like, in fact, not every one of the humans on the ship wants to go back to Earth. But then, uh, they stop him, Wally gets badly, badly hurt. Which is one of the bigger problems with this movie, Wally gets very hurt for no reason. There's one thing to have a few funny jokes about him getting hurt, like the umbrella thingy, but t- to be honest, that's where it ends. And then uh, he's battered up, they find the plant, they go back to Earth, and they all love it there because they've never been there before. And the captain finally does something, and no one in that ship has ever done something. And there's a lot of good morals in this movie, too, about doing something, about not being lazy, about not stealing, about um, not littering so Earth turns out like that. So yeah, this movie delivered a lot, and I have way more to say. But this is just a short TV vlog. Thanks for watching. This is brought to you by Askia. You can find the funny videos for a short time. Be sure to subscribe, and I am out. Peace.